This is part three of my nuclear medicine series where I'm gonna go through the exams and tell you what it is that we are looking at and what nuclear medicine actually is. Alrighty, spooky scary skeleton. Okay, this is a whole body bone scan. We will do these most often when we are looking for a spread of metastatic bones cancer that most commonly in my site is for prostate cancer. Now I know prostate is not a bone, but prostate cancer most commonly spreads to the bones. So that's a very common reason for this scan. We go all the way from above the head down through your toes. We're looking at every one of your bones. So on this one here, this is just a normal bone scan. You can see some more darker uptake areas in the bladder that's normal if you look on the spine on that one it's a little bit darker that's because it's looking from behind and your spine is a lot closer to the back camera same with this this sternum is pretty bright here same thing that's the front camera and that's why it's brighter so this here this is a normal bone scan Okay, so here's a pretty good comparison for you. Those pictures over there is going to be a very severe case of metastatic cancer. So all of those dark portions right there are places where that cancer has spread. So you can see how dark those are. It makes actually the part of the bone that doesn't have cancer super light, light enough that sometimes you can't even see those portions because there's so much uptake in those other portions that are cancerous but we can see more than just cancer. If you look on this one, this unfortunate patient got broken ribs all the way down. So that is also common. If you see those dots right in a row, doot, 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 on the ribs, all of those right there are broken. The reason that they are bright is because they're healing. So they're taking up some of that dose that we gave it as it heals. Once again, if you have any suggestions for nuclear medicine scans that you think sound interesting or that you're confused about, go ahead and message me, put it in the comments. What do you want me to do next?